Hey, JJ, the drama teacher at Noel Middle School, here to bring to you another way to incorporate and integrate arts into your classroom. So if you're an English teacher and you're reading a book, let's say you're reading the refugee book, and you're learning about immigration, you could start by teaching your kids about the setting and what might be happening in an immigration office. So then I would look to the class and I would ask them, someone raise your hand and tell me what an immigrant is. Caroline. An immigrant is someone from another country who is moving to a new country. What's the difference between an immigrant and a refugee? A refugee has been forced out of the country by natural disaster, persecution, or other reasons. So you see that they already know what that might mean. So the difference between an immigrant and a refugee is force and not choice. So that comes with some stress of its own. Somebody raise your hand and tell me what you think an immigration office would be over here. Uh, I think an immigration office is kind of where like like immigrants and maybe refugees, they, oh, like immigrants and refugees, they might come to like the office and like ask for approval. Or like if they've already been approved, they come there to get like their papers checked and maybe they have to get like another health check to see if they're actually able to stay in the country. Right, because we don't want to allow people with uh, sickness and illness to come in. We've historically seen what that can do. That can wipe out colonies and camps, and it can wipe out a civilization, a nation, or at least a community, or get a lot of people sick. So the immigration office, we've decided, is a very busy place. It's going to have office workers and desks. Is it going to have a waiting room? Yes. Probably so, because people are waiting to get in there. Uh, Gavin mentioned that it's going to have papers, so we call those passports, and sometimes whenever you're traveling you need a visa, which is extra permission to come in and you have to be pre-approved for that. So your paperwork is going to maybe be a passport, a visa, or health documents, or it's just identification to prove that you are who you are. So do we all kind of have a visual idea of what an immigration office might look like? Is there anybody who would like to add anything for the good of the group to kind of help us build some scene work? Morgan, stand up please. Um, when you go to an immigration office, you can maybe go and while you're waiting, maybe you could like be trying to check your family. So like if you have family of three and you're like a single mother, maybe you'd be like, okay Noelia, you need to tell me if you have any health problems so the big mean man can not make us leave. So yes, you could be traveling with families, you could be traveling by yourself. So in your tableau, when you're building a scene, and this is called the Martha game, you would be thinking about, am I interacting with someone? Am I by myself? If I am interacting, what might that character, as in the case, as Morgan mentioned, a mother, what might show that she's a mother? Her body language might show. Her facial expression, because she's like a little concerned. Uh, maybe her the way she's holding or touching the child. Because someone who's a couple or who's in love might be holding hands this way, but when you're a mother, maybe you're holding hands this way. Uh, when you're a mother, maybe you've got them really squeezed up tight against you. When you're a couple, maybe you're just kind of leaning into each other. So all those things come into play. So now we're going to see an immigration office. We're going to ask students to build a scene. So we're talking about setting. And this is a way for students to get a visual because good readers need to make visual connections and visualize what they're seeing. And since we're talking about refugees and we're talking about immigrants, we want to see one of the things they might go through. And this is if you come in the country uh, one way. There's all kinds of ways to enter the country, illegally or undocumented, uh, to you know come in on a raft, to come in by foot, as we're seeing with the Honduras uh, group that's traveling through Mexico right now. There's all kinds of ways to enter the country, but this is just one way. So what might that look like for immigrants or um, refugees coming to America? So now let's do the Martha game and let's build a set of an immigration office.
And I'm gonna discuss some of the choices that you're seeing. A student can choose what role they want to play and they go into the scene one at a time. Another student may choose to go join in and be part of the vignette. We have agreed.